Welcome back or welcome to your channel if it's your first time here. I'm Joe and today we're going to take a look at a powerful free tool that you've probably already got on your Windows based PC called BitLocker. Let's get the caveats out of the way first. BitLocker is available on Windows 7 or better and you have to have an edition that is either Pro, Enterprise, Ultimate, or if you have Windows 10, Education. If you've got one of those editions of Windows, you have BitLocker. Perhaps a simpler way to check is you just go ahead and call up your file explorer and go to this PC. That will display all of your drives and any local drive that you have, including a plugged in USB. Go ahead and select it and right click it and you'll see in the pop-up window, I have an option to turn on BitLocker. All right, fantastic. If you see that option, you have BitLocker. So what is BitLocker? BitLocker is an encryption tool that you can use a common access or smart card, or you can use a password to access. Now you can also share that password with people that are supposed to have access to the files. I would recommend doing that before you give them the drive or what have you with the files on it. On a personal use case, if you have medical data or legal data or any other kind of data that you want to keep totally private on your computer, you can dedicate a drive to include your C drive that has your operating system on it and turn BitLocker on for the entire drive. Now that being said, you're going to want to keep a recovery key as well as that password close at hand. Microsoft gives you a lot of options for that recovery key, including keeping it in your Windows you know, your Windows Live account is what it used to be called. I think it's just a Microsoft Windows account now. In any case, they do offer that in the cloud kind of setup. For our purposes, I am going to print the key off to a PDF or just save it as a file. I think we'll save it as a file would be the easiest way. And then we're going to go ahead and just keep it on the computer since what we'll be encrypting is the drive. So first off, let's go take a look and see what we'll be encrypting. We're just going to do a quick double click and that gets us in the drive. And here we learn that likes are free and subscribers learn more. That sounds like some pretty important information to me. So we'll go ahead and um, safeguard that. So I'm just going to go back to this PC and now I'm going to right click that drive and turn on BitLocker. So now Microsoft's prompted me and given me a couple of options here. How do I want to unlock this drive? I can use the password or use a smart card. Well, since I don't have a smart card for this computer, we're going to use a password and we're going to type in a super secret password. And for demonstration purposes, this one's rather short. The important thing is, is it matches on both or we'll find out. So we click next and it matches. Now, oh, how do we want to back up our recovery key? Well, we can save it to our Microsoft account. I am not logged into one. We can save it to a file or we can print it. And this is what I alluded to earlier. I could print that as a PDF or a hard copy. Well, let's just go ahead and save it to a file. And it wants to put it in my documents. And you can see that I've already got one from earlier where I've made one. So we're going to go ahead and rename this one to BitLocker Recovery Key 2. We can name anything you want. You can call it Fred if you want to. And we hit Save and then we'll hit next and now we've got another option where we can either encrypt use disk space only or encrypt the entire drive. This is a simple demonstration it's about a 15 gig drive it could take a while so we're going to encrypt the use disk space only which basically means on this thumb drive we're encrypting those files and the rest of the space is unencrypted. If this was a, a thumb drive that we were going to use to transport um, personal or sensitive information regularly, we would just encrypt the whole drive. So we have another choice to make here, a new encryption mode, and you can see it's best for fixed drives on this device, device, excuse me, in compatible mode, best for drives that can be moved. So the gist of that is, if you use the new encryption mode, it's stuff that only this PC is going to encrypt and decrypt. A compatible mode, pretty much anybody who has the password or the recovery key can encrypt or decrypt. And that's what we want. So it's telling us, asking us, are we ready? We'll be able to unlock the drive using the password. Encryption might take well. Yeah, it won't take long on this one. Now, if you notice up here, we've got this little lock in silver and blue. Well, this is going, oh, there we go. We're complete. 
and that's telling us that this is a BitLocker protected drive. Now we just encrypted this ourselves, so Windows knows it's us, and we can get in and we still see that likes are free and subscribers learn more. Now, I closed everything out, pardon me for one second while I remove this drive, and it's just a basic giveaway drive that every corporation gives away, nothing special. But now we have BitLocker on it and it is something kind of special. So I'm going to plug this back in and let's take a look at what you would see if somebody handed you a BitLocker encrypted drive. Okay. Let's go ahead and open our file explorer again. And we're going to go back to this PC. Now you see that USB drive G has this golden padlock on it. Well, that's because it's encrypted. Now we can go into drives like data, no problem, just double click. But if we go into this one, we get that nice little pop-up. And we can either enter our password, or with more options, we can enter our recovery key. Let's go ahead and just put in the password. Hopefully I put that in right. There we go, we hit unlock, and we're back to our little silver and blue lock, and we can get in. All right. So that covers how you're going to use BitLocker. Uh, this will work the same whether you're encrypting a thumb drive, um, a hard drive, just about anything. But remember, BitLocker is for drives, not files. You can't encrypt just a file or folder on your PC with it. You have to encrypt the drive that it's on. It's one little caveat there. Should you have the need to only encrypt folders, 7-Zip is a free program that works extraordinarily well for that, but that would be the subject of a whole nother video. Moving on with this, let's take a final look at that recovery key. So here is our BitLocker recovery key too. It's a basic text document, and it's just going to open up in Notepad. And there we have it, BitLocker Drive Encryption Recovery Key. And there's our identifiers. And you can see how you got to put the item, the thumb drive or the disk or whatever back on the PC you did it on and unlock it using the recovery key. So it is one way to go. Um, better to just remember your password. And with that, a word about passwords. Passwords are better than nothing, but a password that you have to write down isn't doing you any good because it's written down. A good password will have 10 or more characters in it. You'll use at least one uppercase letter and one lowercase letter in addition to one number or special character, and it's best if you don't use a dictionary word. So a sentence, a short sentence like you would use in learning a language, where you replace vowels with numbers or special characters might be your best bet. But we can, we can talk at length about that in another video. If you're finding value here, go ahead and like us. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.